Good morning everybody, welcome back to Solinix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video on XRP. Uh, your daily updates, I mean in general, I would say the situation is still very, very similar, right? I mean, yesterday morning, uh, we actually broke out, right? So so we talked about this, that, uh, that, that this level right here at around like 60 and a half cents was the main level to break. Broke that, but then we, we got a bit of a sell-off earlier this morning. If you, if you look at the markets as well here, um, and in general, I would say like, like oh, all right, well, we've been talking about this, right? So, so XRP, purely technically, it's very bullish here, right? I mean, you can see it's it's respecting all the all, all the support very well. We have fundamentals to to be relatively happy about, or at least to to be hyped up uh, for a little bit with the settlement talks, etc., with the SEC. Um, but but then again, I do feel like, like if you look at XRP right now, sure we are trending up technically. But then if you look at some some order flow here and the, and the momentum we have, it is becoming a little bit more of a mixed bag. All right. So here you can see that the open interest, we, we had some massive rallies into last week and also uh, also also like at the end of last week, of course. But since then, it's it's been it's been up and down and that up and down um, movement. I don't like that much. And you can also see we had some bigger sell offs um, earlier this night and then also earlier this morning. I don't necessarily like that. On the one hour time frame, we are also not respecting the trend completely anymore. So purely technically, I have to tell you that I'm bullish on XRP, right? Because purely technically, there's nothing that is bearish about XRP here. Um, so therefore, and also that, that I do think Bitcoin is, uh, well, the markets are still bullish. So, so it's in general, always more likely that we'll be bullish. Um, so I still expect the move we've, we've been talking about for the last two days. Now, would I trade that though, right here? Um, honestly, no. Um, you can, like, even though I think that's a little bit of gambling, and I've talked about this before, but you can open a long order in anticipation of news, right? I think a lot of the news is already priced in, but then still it, it can be better than expected. I still think the news would cause some sort of a spike at least. So you can do something like that. But if, if you're if you're technically looking at the price right now and 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 let's say you long from here, um, then like you'd have to have your stop loss somewhere. Um, probably like ideally you would have your stop loss much lower, but then you want to stop, have, have your stop, stop loss potentially at like 57 cents to have a decent risk reward. And with the sell-offs we had earlier this night and also the sell-off we had earlier this morning, and we've seen this before with XRP, right? Where, where you have these spikes down. Um, I would not feel comfortable in such a position. Like I said, I think technically XRP is bullish. I think the momentum, even though it has decreased a bit, is still there. The fundamentals are still there. And therefore, I'm telling you, I think it's most likely we will move up. But for me, that's not the opportunity, or at least that's not the trade where, where most of the potential lays. Um, so that's up to you, all right? If, 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 it's, if it aligns with your analysis, then feel free to do so, of course. I'm just telling you my opinion. And uh, my opinion is, is that based on the technicals and the fundamentals, it is most likely will stay bullish here. I do urge you to be cautious, though, with, with the sell-offs we had and, and with the history of XRP. It is good to be cautious. Um, and for me, there's no major trades I think I'd, I'd like to take here. Um, but regardless, I am bullish on XRP. And then at, at 66, 67, which is the main price target, um, we'll see again. It frankly depends a lot on what the momentum there does, but also what the market does there. Um, so we'll talk about we'll talk again, of course, uh, tomorrow in the in the updates. But for now, that's what I expect. Um, that's what I think is most likely, and why I think that's most likely. So for now, thank you for watching. Hope the video was valuable. Uh, take care and bye.